Welcome to MTB Radley. Today, we're talking about pedals. I've recently switched over to these composite pedals from 1UP Components. If you're looking to get a pair, stay tuned to find out if they're worth the money or a waste of your money. For the best mountain bike reviews, tips, and trail rides, subscribe to my channel, tap the bell to get notified when I post a new video on Thursdays. Mountain bikes are rad. You should get one. Over the years, I've helped thousands of people recreate outdoors, and mountain biking was just one of those activities. Now it's time for me to help you. So I've recently switched over to flats on my mountain bike. I've been riding clipless pedals for a long time now. And the ones that I picked up are, are these. Um, I went for more of a, a lower price point, something that I could try out before spending some uh, cash on uh, flat pedals. And they're, they're made by one and they're plastic, but they have removable metal studs, which I really like. Uh, so I've, I've been on a few rides with these so far. Oh, I guess I've probably ridden 50 to 75 miles on the flats. And overall, I've been real happy with them. Uh, I do like the larger platform with the metal studs. I feel like my foot, uh, my foot feels planted when I'm on the pedals. And I've only had one, uh, one slip off. Overall, I've been pretty happy with the platform pedals that I purchased. They're plastic. I was a little worried they wouldn't hold up, so we'll see how that goes. I have torn a few pairs of pants with those pedals, and that's a bit of a bummer. And I've gotten a few new scratches from the pedals. In a previous video, we went over the gear all new mountain bikers should have. Click the I to access that video, and look in the description below to download that free checklist. Beyond the torn pants and the scratches, I think my only complaint is the number of pedal strikes I've had uh, with these pedals. I've had somewhere close to a half a dozen pedal strikes. Uh, the pedals have uh, held up nicely during those pedal strikes, which I appreciate, but I've almost crashed, and that uh, that's not so fun. Uh, so I'm still getting used to the larger size pedal. I've been running time attack pedals for a long time, and uh, they're pretty low profile compared to the larger flat pedals that I have. And so I'm getting used to my spatial awareness when I'm cruising the trails. I do miss the uh, upstroke of the pedal. I, I notice that when I'm climbing hills. Um, I'm a little concerned about uh, maybe an over imbalance developing with the quad muscle versus the hamstring, uh, some of the larger muscle groups in the legs. And I don't want that to happen. I'm not regularly doing weight training currently, so I just need to be mindful about how those muscles develop so that doesn't lead to an injury. I don't know if that's a thing. I uh, haven't met anyone that's complained about that and I haven't seen much out there uh, as far as uh, information about that. But it's something that I'm going to keep my eye on and uh, try and avoid. So I haven't been on the flats for just a couple of months. I've done some trail rides and played around on the skills part in town. After having ridden the uh, platform pedals for a few months, been pretty happy with them, but I'm going to keep riding them. Stay tuned for an update on how that progress is going. After having them for just a few short months, I would have to say they're worth their money. I've had several pedal strikes, they've held up well, my foot feels planted, and they're super light. If you're in the market for flat pedals, these composite pedals, while might not be as durable as, say, metal pedals or aluminum pedals, they are an affordable option worth considering. If you're looking to save a little money and not sure what type of pedal you want, the composite pedal might be the right option for you. Just make sure you get the one with replaceable metal studs versus the plastic studs that are molded right into the pedal. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you on the trail. Check out these videos where you can learn to improve your mountain biking skills. If you're new to mountain biking, you need to get your hands on my checklist that covers the gear you need for your trail ride. Look for the link to that checklist in the description below. If you learned something, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Tap the bell to get notifications of my next video. Until next week, I'll see you on the trail.